Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Laguna Seca Raceway where we have finally a beautiful day and the HP2 Sport out on track. Um, I am excited and I am nervous. So let's talk about the excitement and let's talk about the, the, the nervousness. Uh, so excitement wise, I'm on track with a bike that is derived from track. So the BMW HP2 Sport is a bike that uh, started and was designed to be a track bike. And well, here we are out for the final session of the day. Some heat in the tires, because these are, <laughs> these guys are cold. So for you guys that don't know, I'll give you guys a little back history. I won't bore you too much with it. I've told you guys the story before. If you guys haven't sort of heard the story, check the video up above. The HV2 Sport was uh, built for just a few years with a very, very limited production. The reason why is these are basically race bikes. Uh, for instance, this is kind of like the HP4, excuse me, the, um, the uh, V4R, the Ducati V4R. They've only made a certain amount of them and they have to make a certain amount of them to be able to race them. So that's why they dump all this money into these bikes and they sell them almost at a loss because... Forgot I don't have a quick shifter down. Um, so they sell them at almost a loss because, well, they, they're, that's just what they do. So in 2010, the HP2 Sport was the final year and they brought in 62 of them into the United States and uh, well this is one of them and so this bike is basically a derived race bike and uh, there's only 62 of them and let's be honest if I take a spill on this thing it is pretty much totaled. So there's my, why I'm terrified that I'm on track on this bike. <laughs> but uh, this is where the bike belongs. Brian Perdo, I don't know if you watch my videos, but he's kind of an inspiration for me to get one of these bikes back in the, back in the day. Let's figure out our braking on this thing. But uh, he has raced this thing here. And Brian, I, I remember watching, I think you were AMA, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. But uh, I actually just saw a couple posts that uh, you, you remembered back from 2010, I think when you were racing this bike from San Jose BMW. Uh, coincidentally enough, where I have first seen this motorcycle. And so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, Sweeney 63, I think. I, I should have looked up your name before I went out on track. Because I know you're my number one fan for the HP2 Sport. Thank you for all the support you give the channel on the HP2 Sport. This ride is for you, buddy. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a bonus. There's not much sound out of this thing, but, um, I'm tired and it's the last session of the day. It's starting to chill down a little bit and uh, I just kind of want to concentrate. Just spend some quality time with this baby. So sit back, relax, 
and enjoy the ride on the 2010 BMW HB2 Sport. I didn't uh, get it shift down correctly. And it, when I shifted back into third, it popped back into second there.
So I'm messing with the suspension a little bit. In the front, I'm getting some pretty heavy bouncing during heavy braking. And it seems to be... Don't go in the second though. Because then the clutch doesn't want to pick it up. Seems to be helping a little bit. So I'm softening the front end up. So under heavy braking, so you'll see as I come into one, or see it's not bouncing anymore. Should have shifted down a second there. Oh yeah, that feels way better. Oh, a little bit wide there, just because I was offline. So let's watch. Oh, that's bad. Watch here. a little better. Getting a uh, feeling for this bike and the understanding of its gearing. So this is a shaft drive bike. So there's no gearing, you know, I can't crashed over there so you know I can't just decide that I want to go down a tooth or change the gearing on the sprockets So, you know, it's a, it's a bit different of a gearing than uh, what I've been on today. But, I don't know, so far a decent session. Just gotta get it going a little bit more. I'm just slowly turning that dial to where I like it. Click by click by click. And I feel like it's starting to be better click by click by click. See, the second, going in the second is horrible in this bike. The clutch just sucks. And to replace the clutch and get a slipper clutch, 
you literally have to take the whole bike apart in order to get to the motor where the clutch is on this thing because it's like under the seat in the middle of the motor what it is The HP2 Sport, you guys. Uh, maybe second time I've ridden it this year. <laughs> Probably only the fourth time, fifth time I've ridden it since I owned it last year. But you know, this is a this is a bike that really I should have that most people would have has an ornament in the living room but I told Bogna if I bought this thing I want to ride this thing and I don't ride it much she thinks that I'm crazy that I still have it and she's like you don't even ride that thing because I've talked about getting another ultra rare and she's like you don't even ride the one you have but the fact of the matter is that I do ride it just not a lot but I do ride it right and that's the whole thing with this thing and you know you guys have talked about me or said i should get a super leggera or uh, a uh, ducati super veloce or not super veloce what is it the uh, desmo whatever i don't know the big the big uh crazy bike the motor gp bike i'm drawing a blank um But again, you know, I'd want to ride that thing. I wouldn't want to just, you know, they, they've got like, I mean, and this bike was ridden. This bike, the, the person that owned it prior to me rode this bike. So, I'm gonna stop right here. Actually, I'm gonna go. Down the pit and uh, get a couple pictures and say goodbye to you guys. Not, not my best ride of the day. I'll say that. But I will say that it was a great ride and I really love the fact that this thing is out at the racetrack. So thank you guys for sticking around the 2010 BMW HP2 Sport. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the HP2 Sport, head over and check out some other videos. It's an ultra rare one of 62. It's a pretty rad bike. It's a pretty cool bike. I'm happy that I own it and I'm happy that you guys support it and uh, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button, do all the normal stuff. But thank you guys for coming along on a little toodle ride around the 
Laguna Seca Raceway on the BMW HP2 Sport. Thank you guys. And uh, I'll see you next video. Bye guys.